Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this sign. First open a new document, get rid of the fill and leave the stroke black. Now press the letter L for the ellipse tool. Click in the center and draw a circle. Next we'll offset this circle several times to get this look. With the circle still selected, go to Object, Path and choose Offset Path. Change the offset to 60 and click OK. With the outer circle still selected, go to Object again and repeat the last step. Next we'll offset the outer and inner circles by 20 pixels. With the outer circle still selected, go to Object, Path, Offset Path and change the offset to negative 20. Now switch to the Selection tool, select the inner circle, go to Object, Path, Offset Path and change the offset to 20. Next we'll create a guideline using the middle circle. First make sure it is selected. Then go to View, Guides and choose Make Guides or press the Ctrl and number 5 keys on your keyboard. Now open the sublayers in layer 1, lock the layer with the guide we've just created and turn off its visibility. We will use it later. Next select the outer and inner circles, open the stroke panel, change the stroke weight to 6 points and make sure a line stroke to center is selected. Now go to swatches and choose a different color. Let's lock these two layers with the red circles. Next we'll place text on top of this path. First make sure the path is selected, then click on the type tool hold and select the type on a path tool. Notice the change in your cursor. Click on the selected path and when you see the blinking line, start typing your text. Next we'll recenter and resize it. First switch to the direct selection tool. Notice the three perpendicular lines. This one shows the center of a path. This one with the arrow pointing right shows the beginning of a path. And this one with the arrow pointing left shows the end of a path. Let's move the end of the path to line up with the center guide on the right and the beginning of the path to line up with the center guide on the left. Now the center of this path is exactly on top. Let's align our text to the center of this path. First open the paragraph window. If you can't see it go to window type and choose paragraph. Now select Align Center. Next we will resize our text so it fits exactly between the two black paths. To do this open the Character panel, then click on the top arrow of the font size several times until the text fits between the paths. In the next several steps we will create this copy. Press the Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Let's lock the bottom text layer and turn off its visibility. Make sure the top text layer is selected. Then click on this center perpendicular line and slowly drag it down to flip the text. Now release the mouse and adjust the beginning and end of the path position to line up with the center guide. Next we'll move this text down so it will fit between the two center guidelines. To do this set the baseline shift to a negative value. Turn the visibility of the top text back on and let's adjust the space between the characters to match the top text. To do this, decrease the tracking for the selected characters. Next we'll create this part. Before we do anything, first click away to deselect and let's reset the baseline shift to zero and the tracking to zero as well. 
Now select the Type tool and type your text. Let's make it a little bigger. Next press the letter M for the Rectangle tool. Click in the center. And while holding down the ALT key, drag your mouse out to create a rectangle that is a little wider than the diameter of the outside circle. Swap the fill and the stroke. Open the stroke panel. Align stroke to center. And change the weight to 6 points. Switch to the selection tool and click away to deselect. Now move it a little bit down. And if you wish, you can increase the gap between the characters by adjusting the tracking. Let's lock the layer with the black circle and turn off its visibility. Select the text in the middle and lock it as well. And do the same with the rectangle to prevent it from shifting. Next we'll create these four little circles. First, turn on the visibility of the layer with the guideline we've created at the beginning. To make things easier, you can make the center mark visible. Double click on the artboard tool and check the show center mark. Now press the escape key to exit this mode. Next, select the ellipse tool and draw a small circle centered on this guideline. Swap the fill and the stroke. Switch to the Selection tool and make sure the circle is selected. Then press the letter O for the Reflect tool and while you are holding down the ALT key, click in the center to set the Reflect point. Choose the Vertical axis and click Copy. And we will copy these two circles to the bottom. Make sure to select both circles. And like before, choose the Reflect tool, click in the center, but this time choose the horizontal axis and click Copy. Select all four circles, group them together and let's lock this layer. Turn off the visibility of the guide layer. Double click on the Artboard tool and uncheck Show Center Mark. Next, we'll cut the parts of the red circles that overlap with the black rectangle. First, let's unlock the layers with the red circles and lock all the layers with text. Now, zoom in on this part. Select the red circle and grab the scissors tool. Now, click on this intersection to make a first cut and click on this intersection to make a second cut. Next, select the cut piece and press the delete key on your keyboard a few times. Let's do the same with the other side. And we are done. Now, if you wish, you could select all the red lines and increase the stroke weight. Unlock everything, group it together and rotate it. Or add a ground texture to it. If you would like to learn how to create this texture, please see my previous tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.